take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. 1543. In 1543, Nicolaus Copernicus detailed his radical theory of the universe in which the Earth, along with the other planets, rotated around the Sun. His theory took more than a century to become widely accepted. Take our lead. Galileo knew about and had accepted Copernicus's heliocentric, sun-centered, theory. It was Galileo's observations of Venus that proved the theory. Using his telescope, Galileo found that Venus went through phases, just like our moon. Take our lead. Nicolaus Copernicus in his De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, on the revolution of heavenly spheres, first printed in 1543 in Nuremberg, presented a discussion of a heliocentric model of the universe in much the same way as Ptolemy in the 2nd century had presented his geocentric model in his Almagest. Take our lead. Why was Aristarchus of Samos' model not accepted at the time he proposed it? It was not accepted because at the time it was believed that the Earth was at the center of the universe. Describe what occurs during planetary retrograde motion and give an example of how this looks when we see a planet do this from Earth. Take our lead. It wasn't until the mid-18th century that Nicolaus Copernicus, 1473-1543, came up with a different model. His heliocentric theory put the Sun at the center of the universe. It was based on observations with the telescope, work pioneered by the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei, 1564-1642. Make your mark, take our lead. The heliocentric model was generally rejected by the ancient philosophers for three main reasons. If the Earth is rotating about its axis, and orbiting around the Sun, then the Earth must be in motion. Nor does this motion give rise to any obvious observational consequences. Hence, the Earth must be stationary. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.